Adding text animations is the simplest way to add more visual interest to your website. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a few different ways that you can add some text animations into your Showit website. Some of these will be using Showit's built-in features, and then some of them will be using a little bit of custom code. If you've never used code before, don't worry. I'm going to have the code ready for you to copy and paste. And then I'm also going to show you what you need to change on it to customize it to fit your business. So let's just hop right in. First text effect that we're going to be doing is this fun highlighted flashing text. Okay, so you are going to start off with a blank canvas. Now you can either keep your canvas with a solid background or you can add a background image. I'm going to go ahead and upload an image to mine and I'm going to go ahead and change the background color to black and then lower my opacity just so my text is easier to read. And then all you need to do is just go in and add in your text. This can say anything that you want. It can be a mission statement. You can highlight um, really anything that you want to put. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my text and then I'll be right back. So it's important to note for this effect to work, you'll wanna make sure that all of your text is in different lines like so. And you can have as many or as little lines as you would like. Um, if you are gonna have a sentence and then you just want one word highlighted, you'll wanna type out the entire sentence minus that one word and then go ahead and add that as a separate text block. Cause right now show it doesn't allow you to just highlight one single word to change the color of it. But once you have that done, you'll also want to make sure that your mobile is formatted as well, because from here we're going to be adding a couple different canvas views in order to make this work. So first and foremost, you're going to want to go ahead and change that top one to the color that you want to be your highlight. I'm going to go with a neon green for this. And then you're going to go over to the left hand side and click on the three dots and then go to canvas view. So you're going to add in a new canvas view and then copy and drag in all of those elements into that first canvas view. Now you're going to go ahead and duplicate that. You can also rename your canvas views, um, just to keep things more organized. For the sake of the video, I'm not going to do that, but you can do that if you would like. And then all you're going to do is just go ahead and change this one back to the white color and then change the second line of text to that highlighted color. And you're going to repeat that for the rest of them. So you're going to go ahead and duplicate that again, change this one back to that white color or whatever color you have that set to change this one to that highlighted color and so on and so forth. So now what you're gonna be left with is you're gonna have four different canvas views like so, and that's going to show each of those lines highlighted. Now, in order to make this animation actually work, you're gonna go over to your view transitions at the bottom and then click on auto advanced view. Now you can change the speed of how fast your animation is. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with one second and I'm gonna see how fast that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and preview this and we'll see that that's a little bit too slow for my liking. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that down to maybe half a second. Okay, and then there we go. We'll see that now all of those text lines will be highlighted and that will rotate through. Something that you can also do to add a little bit more visual interest is you can also change out the background image. Now with canvas views, if you have the background image set to the canvas background, then everything on that canvas view will be applied to every other canvas view. So for example, if I click on this and I change that to that photo and then I go to preview this, the background's not gonna change, but if you wanted to add in a different background to the second one, then all you have to do is just go ahead and add in another image. So you can just go ahead and add your image in and just make sure that that stretches the entire width of your canvas and then just send that to the back. And then you can also just change out that opacity. So if you want it to be darker, then you can go ahead and do that. And all right, the next one is this really fun flashing text box. So go ahead into your website and add in a new canvas. You can design your canvas however you would like. So I have my image here. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that that is set to lock to the left. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my text. And then I'm gonna make sure that my text is aligned to the left. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my line height just so my text is a little bit closer together. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into add an element and add a shape block. So it doesn't have to be a rectangle. It can be any type of shape that you would like. I'm gonna just do a rectangle since that is what I showed previously. And then go ahead and change your shape block to whatever color you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and select a color from here. And then I'm also gonna add a border onto mine. Again, you don't have to do that if that is not your vibe. I'm gonna go ahead and do that though. I'm gonna rotate this a little bit so it looks kind of like a sticker over the text. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and have the word bestie as the main text that is highlighted here. So once you have your section designed, again, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have this designed on your desktop and mobile as well, and make sure that you have everything in there that you want to have added. Cause again, it's a little bit tedious to go in and add that later on. 
But again, what you're going to do is go over to that page, go to your canvas, go to add canvas view, and then just drag and drop all of those elements into that first canvas view, and then go ahead and duplicate that. And then all you're going to do is just change out the color of that shape. So if you want to change this to, let's say like a yellow color, and then same exact effect that you're going to be doing, you're going to go to view transitions, auto advanced view, and then you can go ahead and change that speed to whatever you want that to be. Now, when we go to preview, you'll see that that will do a little fun flashing animation. Next up, we have this really fun sliding text animation. So by adding just this little small animation to your text, it definitely adds a lot and makes your website look a lot more high end. So go ahead and add a blank canvas and you can style this however you see fit. I'm going to make sure that this is locked horizontally and then I'm just going to go ahead and do the same for the other side. Now I'm also going to just lower the opacity of my images because I want the text to really stand out. So I'm gonna make sure that my canvas background is set to dark. I'm gonna click on those images, go to effects, and I'm gonna lower the opacity maybe down to 60, just so that way, again, my text can really stand out against the background. And then I'm gonna change mine to white and I'm gonna change this to that font and I like my fonts to be pretty big for something like this so I'm gonna go ahead and make this probably 200 maybe a little bit bigger let's do 250 okay like so add in another line of text and then I'm just gonna change this one to that so once you have your text added click on it and then hit animation click that drop down and then you're gonna click on slide I'm gonna do one second and then I'm gonna have it come in from the left. Let me just preview this real quick, make sure that it is coming in, perfect. And then you're gonna do that same exact process. So make sure that you hit slide one second and I'm gonna have this one be delayed by just a quarter of a second just to kind of make sure that things are coming in at different speeds. And then I'm gonna have this one come in from the right. Let me just go ahead and preview that again, make sure everything looks good. And there you go. Now you have a really subtle, fun animation. Now you can finish off this section with whatever text you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and have it with a little button that they can click through to actually preview the portfolio. All right. And that is pretty much it for that subtle text effect. So again, it just makes your website look a little bit more high end instead of just having that stagnant text. Also do this for vertical text as well. So if you wanted to rotate your text, let's go to size and position. Let's rotate that to 90. Actually, let's do 270 for that. And then what I'm going to do is go back to the animation. I'm going to go ahead and have that come from up. And then this one's going to come from down. Something that's important to note if you are going to be doing the vertical text animation is that you'll want to make sure that whatever canvas is above that one is set to be stacked a little bit higher. That way the text looks like it's coming from underneath it instead of over because if you, I guess I can show you. So real quick, if I change the stacking order and then we go down, you'll see that that text kind of comes out from behind that canvas. Whereas if we had this canvas set to zero and then we go and preview this, you'll see that the text kind of comes from over it. I mean, I don't personally like that look, but if, if you can make that work, then that's awesome. Um, but that is something really cool that you can do is you can have the text come in vertically instead of horizontally as well. So really the options are endless there. You can really make it look however you want it to look. All right, next up we have this little section where the text rotates different quotes. So again, go to your page, go to add blank canvas, and I am going to do a solid background for this one. And then you're just gonna go ahead and add in your text. Now, again, it's the same exact process as all of the other ones that I just showed where you're basically going to go into that canvas, go to add canvas view, make sure that you drag up all all of these into there and then you're just gonna go ahead and duplicate those and then change out that text that you want and once you have all of your text in the different canvas views it's going to be the same exact thing where you just add in that auto advance and then you can make this again as fast or as slow as you would like I'm gonna start off with one second and there you have it. Let's talk about some ways that you can add some fun code into your website. The first one is going to be a typewriter effect. So go ahead and add in another canvas. So once you have your code copied, what you're going to do is go into add element and then click embed code. From there, you're going to double click on this and then go ahead and paste in that code that I attached below. 
and it's gonna look a little overwhelming. If you've never used code before, don't be worried. I'm gonna show you what you can change on it in order to customize it. You do not need to change a whole lot. Now, if you wanna change out the font that is shown with the typewriter, what you're gonna do is first of all, you're gonna make sure that your font is uploaded into your Show It account. So whether you are using a Google font or you've uploaded your own font, then you'll just wanna make sure that that, that is in your Show It account. From there, what you're gonna do is just go ahead and paste the name of your font directly in between those little quotations. You need to make sure that your font is the exact same way that it shows up within the um, Google fonts or within Show It. If there is any small discrepancies within the name, then your code won't work. So make sure that you have your font typed in correctly like so. From here, you can change the font size. So if you wanna make your font a little bit bigger, you can go ahead and do that. You can change your font weight if you would like, you can change the color of it, um, and then you can also change your line height. All right, and then down here is where you're going to change out what your typewriter effect says. So if you have multiple lines instead of just three, you wanna have maybe five, what you can do is just copy and paste this on the next line right below that. You wanna make sure that you are having that comma if you're gonna have multiple different lines of text. And then also another thing that's important to note is you wanna make sure that whatever you are typing stays in between those quotation marks. So say if I wanna change this to Studio La Terre, you'll see that that will automatically update with that new text. You just wanna make sure that the embed box is stretched out wide enough to accommodate how much text you're adding. Now, again, like I said, if you do wanna update a couple things within here, just go up to the top and then that's where you're gonna be able to edit your font size, your font weight, your text color, all of that stuff. Everything else, you could adjust how fast everything is if you want to do that. If you wanna adjust your typing speed and how fast it gets deleted and the pause, you're more than welcome to do that. I don't think that you need to do that, but if you would like to do that, you're more than welcome to. And then it's also important to note that you will have a mobile and tablet size as well. So this is really important because obviously on mobile, you don't want your font size to be you know, 200 or 150. It's just gonna be a little bit too big. It's gonna crop off. So you can go ahead and update your font sizes and your tablet sizes on here just to make sure that everything is readable. And lastly, we have this really fun flashing glow effect that you can use for your text. Add a blank canvas again. Go ahead and change that to the fonts that you would like. Ideally, this would be somewhere like on your hero image or something, but again, you can use this wherever you would like on your website. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to 200. So I'm gonna keep my text as black. Um, I think that sometimes if you have the white with the neon, it's a little bit too much so I'm gonna keep it with black but again you can you can really mess around with this however you want now this is a little bit different than the embed box what you're gonna do is click on your text you're gonna go to advance and you're gonna assign a class selector this basically allows the CSS to know what it's targeting so you can name this whatever you want I'm gonna just name this neon text for now I think that if you are gonna do this you should probably name it something that's easy for you to type out and for you to remember and then you're gonna click on your page up here this is gonna give you your advanced settings where you can paste in your custom CSS now again you can access the CSS below within that notion folder and you can just copy and paste that in this is what your code is gonna look like so again you're gonna to want to make sure that your class selector is the same as what it shows up here so if you choose something else if you put you know, flashing text or something, you're gonna wanna make sure that this is set to flashing text and you're gonna make sure that that period is in front of it. That is how they can tell that it's a class selector. Um, so from here, what you can do is you can change the color of what you want your flicker to be. So you're gonna see that it's gonna go from this color, which is set to like this neon green, and then it's going to change to this like neon yellow. Now, if you wanted to change this to, let's say a neon pink color like that, all you have to do is just copy that hex code and just make sure that you're pasting that into all of the values that are down here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that everything is updated accordingly. Go ahead and hit save, and then it's not gonna show on the show it preview for this specific um, element, but when you go and preview this, it should show it like so. Now you can make this a little bit faster. I would keep that around one to one and a half, but again, you can choose however fast you want that to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that back and save, and then that is pretty much how you would do that effect. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe. I'm gonna be putting out a lot of videos about Show It and Squarespace, bunch of different fun effects that you can do within both of those platforms, similar to this video. So hopefully you learned something from this video and you can actually implement this into your website. So thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.